So, I want to talk a little bit about depression. Now, I want to mention a few points here first. One is, I haven't actually been to see a specialist or been told I have depression. So take what I say lightly. I actually don't really talk about it much or even try to think about it. I'm also not an expert myself and anything I say is not advice, just my own experiences and how I deal with them. With that out of the way, I hope some of you can relate or I can help you with my experiences. A little warning for anyone that suffers with this as well, as it's about to become pretty deep. I don't want to trigger anyone, so here is your final warning. Now, imagine this scenario. It's Monday morning. It's 10am. You're still in bed. You don't have to go out. You have nothing to do or nowhere to go. You could go out. Maybe you even need to a little bit. Just for some shopping or something. You know it can wait though. Or you just want to stay in bed. Why not? You can, right? But you know it's not good for your mental health. You feel drained or you feel something. Something you can't quite figure out. An emotion you can't quite explain what it is or feels like. Then you realize the depression has just set in. You don't want to do anything. You can feel everything getting to you. Every little thing makes you feel sad, makes you feel pathetic. But it's okay. It's normal to feel like this. It's okay to have a little time for yourself, at least once in a while. I often have these thoughts, and probably way more time for myself than I need. They last longer than I would like. I thought I'd gotten rid of my depression and these thoughts, but I think it's something we'll never get rid of. I think everyone experiences it, even a little bit even if they don't want to admit it, or even know it. I am not alone. It's a good thing to think, or even remember. Of course, your situation is unique to you, and I'm not going to tell you someone has already experienced this. No, that is not right. We are all unique, and have our own experiences. No one has gone through exactly what you have gone through. That is what is so unique or great about life. Every little thing can be slightly different. We also have no way of knowing how it feels to be someone else, but that is another topic in itself. So, what do I do to combat it? Well, sometimes I don't. As I already mentioned, I just let it sit and sort of ride it out, but that is not really a solution. I try to do good things, like just go out, or do whatever it is I need to do. I just go and do it. I'm not saying right away, don't make plans and say, I will do this today. If it is important, maybe you should do it, but don't beat yourself up over something that can wait. Eventually you will have to go and do it, and that is the hard bit with depression. Going out is one of the best ways to get away, and a short walk in nature is something we can all benefit from. I know how difficult it is, and you may think, yeah, I will go and do that, but you don't do it. Well, don't worry, you can always go do it another time. I never say, I will go and do this today. I just go and do what I need when I really need to, and sometimes I don't do it. It does end up a little bit of a disaster, and I'm not perfect, not even slightly. But I'm still going, and that is one important thing with depression. You know you're surviving if you can keep powering through it. One thing it can really affect for me is how often I upload. Once the depression hits, it can stop me from doing anything productive, and that is why I mention it, really. It is clear in the way I uploaded some of my previous series, something that could have been done much quicker, probably. But I actually kept stopping, not because I had to, but just because I didn't want to, or feel in the mood to continue it. I'd like to be consistent in uploads, but I don't think I ever will. That doesn't really matter. I do this for me, and that is what should matter. If anyone enjoys it, or finds what I do useful, or entertaining, then that is a benefit for them. I hope to spend a bit more time doing what I want, and eventually not experience depression. But being real again, I think it will never go away. I also think we can't control our emotions, or really influence them. Okay, maybe there's some ways you can influence them, but when you're feeling a strong emotion, you can't really take control of it, or your actions may be based on that emotion, which is why you may need time for yourself, 
or need time away to sort of take control of that emotion and how you're feeling. Anger is usually a strong emotion for some people and it can really influence their interactions with other people. And I think it's a good opportunity to notice your feelings and take time for yourself so that you can really take control of them and really think about how you want to act or react in a situation. That being said, emotions can come and go. And although you may be able to influence them a little bit, not something you should really beat yourself up about. I also want to say that there's probably support available and you can probably seek it out and find it for yourself. Now, I sort of seem to think that it's pointless or maybe I'm just stupid in thinking how do I actually find it or seek it out or maybe I just think do I really want to talk to someone about this? Well, that's a question you have to ask yourself sometimes and as I said, the support is available, but do you really want it? Well, I'll try and find some links and put them in the description for support that is available for this topic. But for myself, although I know it's there, I don't seem to seek it out. I tend to seem to deal with things myself, and I think that sometimes is a little bit more empowering. Though I understand that some people do require that extra support and it's nice to have someone else to talk to. I suppose that's why I sort of would make this video because I wanted to make sure that no one felt alone in this feeling and that there is people that feel the same way and deal with it in different ways. Perhaps maybe you, like me, you don't want to deal with it and you just know it will eventually be something that you can, well, technically deal with in a sense because it's gone or it's faded for now and you can carry on with the rest of your life or day. So, once again, I will try and find some links and if you need the support, I will make sure the support is there for you. What are your experiences and how do you deal with them? Let me know in the comments and as always, thanks for watching. Remember, take care and know that you are valuable and that you matter.